One of the most mystical and thrilling moments in a ship's life is when it first cuts through the waves and sets sail. However, behind that grandeur lies the potential for disastrous waves. From panicked spectators to horrifying accidents that could sink a newly completed ship in the blink of an eye. A breathtaking spectacle of a shipwreck unfolded when the stellar banner, after over 100 days of monitoring, finally sank off the coast of Marin Hale. Everything unfolded as planned, with every detail of the ship removal plan approved by the Maritime Authority, marking the end of a tense and challenging incident. The 656-foot Felicity Ace container ship, carrying thousands of containers, erupted in a fierce fire on the ocean, making all rescue efforts extremely difficult. The cause is believed to be due to electric vehicle batteries, making this one of the most dangerous and dramatic events at sea. Next came the live collision at sea when two ships crashed head-on amidst raging waves. This horrifying scene sent the entire crew into panic, marking it as truly one of the most terrifying maritime disasters. When the LHD Trieste was officially launched, a monumental feat of engineering emerged. Weighing around 83,800 pounds and measuring 804 feet in length, the ship was launched, pulling tons of massive chains and challenging every technical limit. This marked a significant milestone in the maritime industry. Thanks to advanced technology, launching bulk carriers using inflatable rubber cylinders has become a modern solution, reducing friction and allowing the ship to glide smoothly into the water. These cylinders are capable of supporting loads up to 22 million pounds, ensuring maximum safety and efficiency, ushering in a new era in the maritime industry. Oh no! A horrific collision occurred when a cargo ship slammed directly into the dock, creating a scene of chaos. The ship sustained severe damage, while the dock's piers took the brunt of the impact, collapsing entirely and leaving devastation throughout the area. In the vast expanse of the ocean, an unforeseeable disaster struck. On a cargo ship in the South Pacific, a powerful storm hit, causing the vessel to rock violently. 
The relentless waves crashed against the ship's side as if trying to swallow the entire deck, creating a terrifying scene in the heart of the ocean. The tugboat Browse Girls encountered disaster when it collided with a coral reef, causing the ship to sink rapidly. Despite all rescue efforts being launched, the fierce waves and the critical situation made it impossible to save the ship, leaving behind a tragic scene at sea. It can only be described as a nightmare. Despite facing harsh sea and weather conditions at Cork Harbor, the ship's captain remained resilient, overcoming the challenges posed by fierce waves and strong winds. It was truly horrifying to witness the collision of two large ships, resulting in a violent clash with the massive vessel. The chaotic and dangerous scene left the harbor in a tense and precarious situation, with all rescue efforts feeling desperate and on the verge of failure. The ship crash onto the shore created a terrifying scene as the vessel was dismantled for scrap. From the shore, the sight of smoke engulfing the space painted a hauntingly beautiful picture, both majestic and heartbreaking. On its impressive journey, the On James L. Oberstar, with a capacity of 62 million pounds and a length of 806 feet, was heading to the Fraser shipyard after 20 winters of layup. The sea smoke and the rising sun adorned the journey, creating a breathtaking scene amidst the vast ocean.
The construction of Ada Prima was a technical marvel, starting with the fabrication of enormous hull sections and assembling each 123 foot long casting beam. The translucent dome, designed to absorb UV rays, was completed, allowing natural light to flood the ship's interior. With a length of 984 feet and the capacity to hold 3,300 passengers, this cruise ship stands as a symbol of luxury and innovation in the maritime industry. The oil tanker Oropin 4 drifted onto the shore, posing a significant danger. Rescue operations were carried out using various equipment, including excavators to clear sand and towing vehicles for assistance. After numerous efforts, the ship was eventually pulled back to safety and returned to the sea. After a long journey, the Iceberg Alley of the American Century ship docked at Duluth Port to prepare for the harsh winter. With its powerful engines, the ship utilizes two Mach 6 M32 diesel engines, producing 20,760 horsepower, enabling it to easily navigate through ice and snow. Before winter sets in, the ship will undergo thorough maintenance and inspection, ensuring it is ready for the upcoming challenges. on the back of the boat. Let's go. Finally, the Paul R. Tregurtha, the last vessel in the fleet, has docked for the winter, preparing for the next shipping season. With a length of 1,000 feet and its powerful engines, the ship will undergo maintenance before embarking on the long and challenging journeys ahead.
the bulk carrier. James R. Barker left Duluth after loading half iron ore from CN and half coal from